Once upon a day, too, there was an innocent little girl <coughs> by the name of Margaret Van Wook. This girl was special because she had magical dreams. My soul is as open as the sky. Hi class, so today we're going to learn about the circulatory system. The circulatory system consists of your heart. I hope everybody knows about blood stuff. Okay, so the blood comes. to the magical land of the circulatory system. Why are you here? Um, well, I guess you should probably know this stuff, right? For science and just to know what's going on inside my body. Do you know anything that's going on in your body? I know I have a face. Okay. Well, you have a lot to learn. So follow the this circulatory system and it'll take you wherever you need to go. A muscular organ which is located on the left side of your chest. The heart pumps oxygen-rich blood to the body. The blood is carried away from the heart through several blood vessels. The red, oxygen-rich blood diffuses in the capillary into oxygen-deprived blood, or blue blood. The blue, oxygen-deprived blood is pumped back to the heart. It is pumped through the right atrium and right ventricle. The blood is then pumped to the lungs through the pulmonary arteries. Next, gas exchange occurs in the alveoli. The oxygen-deprived blood now gets a fresh supply of oxygen. Next, the oxygen-rich blood goes back to the heart. The blood is pumped through the aorta and the cycle starts again. There are many things which help operate the heart. The valves of the heart make the blood flow in the right direction. The coronary arteries supply the heart itself with oxygen. Shown in yellow, these electrical impulses in the heart keep the heart beating correct. Your heart continues beating for your entire life. It is this organ which keeps you alive. Pop quiz! Oh my god! But I know everything now. Okay. The next time it was day two. Okay, class, so here are your test results. A plus! Outstanding! Wow, wow, wee, wow! Pop quiz! No! <laughs> The next oh. time it will- <laughs>